good morning to all uh today we are going to discuss continuity differentiability okay this concept is very very important for mains as well as for other competitive exam in advance also it acts as a major role right let us start this first i would like to explain the definition part of continuity discontinuity then afterwards differentiability then afterwards i would like to select some examples whereas here you see this continuity okay continuity i would like to divide two parts in part 1 at a particular point at a point we are going to discuss the continuity at x is equal to a now. some point and uh, on interval close interval a comma b also we are going to discuss the continuity what is the definition of continuity means you can say like this a function okay f of x is said to be right continuous at uh, x is equal to a then it has to satisfy this rule if limit extends to a f of x is equal to f of a if this exists then only you can say that the function is continuous at x is equal to a there is a one small hidden point is there now. what is the what is the meaning of exists this means the moment you are going to find lhl you will get what limit extends to a minus f of x it should be finite value and limit extends to a plus f of x this one also what finite value and these two are equal and these all values are what equal then only you can say that it is continuous yeah it is continuous we can say but my sincere request for all the students guys learn as many diagrams as possible for example if i said here x square x belongs to r what is the diagram rough diagram i'm drawing here please catch this point this is yeah it is continuous y is equal to x cube x belongs to r if i said yeah you can say this one yes then no, no. origin x axis y axis this curve it is also what continuous this is one example here on interval means yeah it is good but when you uh, when you are going to discuss at a particular point you please remember it has to satisfy this rule compulsory it has to satisfy this rule right some diagram i said it you that some diagrams i said okay you see this diagram now this diagram is like this where you can say that directly at x is equal to 0 it is not continuous we are without using this with the help of diagram we can say yeah by seeing the diagram you can okay what is the function here y is equal to sgn of x yeah you can say like this right suppose if i take here one more function see this see this now okay it will be like this 0 1 2 right minus 1 minus 2 what is this function f of x is here fractional part function that means it will be like this meaning is x minus step x right a diagram i mean to say that few diagrams here if you learn more number of diagrams you will have what total clarity now what what is the meaning of this one meaning is very simple a function f of x is what set to be i said diagram in few examples i have given whereas here i am going to discuss about continuity on interval a function f of x is said to be continuous okay on close interval a comma b you see this condition if limit extends to a plus right continuous at x is equal to f of a okay limit extends to b minus left continuous you can say that at f of b and limit extends to c 
f of x is equal to f of c. What is c? C belongs to a comma b. All the numbers, whatever the numbers are here, whatever the numbers are here, for all the numbers, it has to satisfy these three cases, three numbers. Okay, then you can say that it is continuous on that particular interval. Now you may have a doubt over here. What is that doubt? Sir, what happened? Only this limit extends to a minus f of x. You can say that f of a, if it is like this, you can say that left continuous. The other part is not exist. Only left continuous, you can say. Right. What is going to be happen here? If it extends to b here, a plus f of x is equal to f of a. You can say that right continuous. Okay. If left continuous is equal to right continuous, then you can say that it is continuous. Okay, so hope so that definition part is clear, right? We'll move on to the next one. What is the next one? As I said it to you, that discontinuity. Okay, discontinuity. What is that? See, sir, discontinuity also I would like to divide in two parts. One. RDF. Second one, IRDF. Very simple. RDF full form is a removable discontinuous function. What is the meaning of that? I'll take straight away. I'll take the example. I'll take. Do you remember this condition? Limit extends to A at a particular point. When you are going to check the limit uh, continuity at a particular point, it is going to be happen. What? The value of limit at x is equal to a exists. Exist means you will get maybe finite value, something m. But if this cannot be equal to the functional value. Any function, what I'm saying here, a function f of x is to be RDF, a function f of x is set to be set to be RDF. If this condition is exist, right? If, if a, this condition exists, then you can say that it is RDF, a removable discontinuous function. Wonderful example I would like to take here. Simple example, okay, not so difficult. So better example I would like to take here. Let us say that f of x is I'm going to define like this now. x square minus two square divided by x minus two, x is not equal to two. Say three x is equal to two. That means, yeah, I have a right to check the continuity at x is equal to 2. I don't want to say here LHL, RHL is required. Not necessary. You better take down directly in this way. Limit extends to 2, x square minus 2 square. The meaning is what LHL and RHL both are there. Right. What is the formula? You know very well that the limits, you have learned all the formulas. So this is one of the standard formula, right? Standard limit, you are getting here 4. But you see this, Nana. It is not equal to f of 2. What is f of 2? f of 2 is 3. So this value is finite. This value is also finite, but these two are not equal. That's the reason I can say that it is RDF. Why I am saying the removal discontinuity? See, suppose, suppose, suppose the function is given like this. Now. What is that? x square minus 2 square divided by x minus 2, x is not equal to 2. If I write here 4, x is equal to 2, it becomes what? Continuous. What I'm doing, if you remove this one with this, then that function, discontinuous function, be converted into continuous function. That's the reason we are using the word RDF, removable discontinuity. We, are, we can remove the discontinuity by interchanging, by replacing the suitable condition. But you see here, this question, he asked this question. He never want to ask like this. Sometimes he'll say that missing point discontinuity. Why he has given missing point? What is the meaning of missing point discontinuity? So graphical approach should be there, Nana, for you people. If you think this one in a proper way, you will get the idea like this. What is that? F of X. Why? You will get X plus two. X is not equal to two. Three, right? x is equal to 2. What is the meaning of this, Nana? It is very simple. Very simple. Very, very simple it is. You see this. One diagram I am taking. 
here i'm explaining yeah i mean i'm 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 explaining over here now you see this one there is a small gap what is the value here this is two the meaning is this is what height four if you take somewhere here you will get like this if you drag this point to here then it become what continuous right that's the reason people are going to say that missing point is continuous right rdf is also called as missing point discontinuity hope so that you people have understood this one right let us move on to the next one right what is that irdf let us see this one irdf irremovable discontinuity yeah i am going to discuss here four cases right see this first one jump discontinuity right mixed discontinuity right uh okay i'll take here second kind we can call it as second kind is all our comes in that and next one is what oscillating discontinuity right sir oscillating discontinuity right oscillating discontinuity we can say that mixed discontinuity and then afterwards here oscillating discontinuity also you can say that infinite discontinuity second kind or you can say that infinite discontinuity also you can say like this okay here oscillating discontinuity na no, no. you can say the oscillating or oscillatory t o r y this is oscillate what is mean by jump discontinuity i'll take the examples and i'll explain what is going to happen here any function satisfying this rule lhl left hand limit exists na no, no. rhl exists exists means both are finite value but they are not equal lhl is exists rhl is also exists but they are not equal that type of discontinuity is called as jump one beautiful example is there simple example i don't want to take so difficult example it is very easy and you can understood this one nicely not equal to 0 0 x is equal to 0 what i am taking here not new sir is known function signum function i have taken rather than saying that word signum i have taken here like this okay this is one this is minus one this is zero and is x axis you know y axis clearly you can say that limit extends to zero minus means mod x by x if i write you will get here limit extends to zero minus Minus x by x. Actually, minus x by x. We should not write, right? Generally, less than zero. That's the reason I'm writing here minus x. Yeah, you can. Chalega, right? But usually, usually, if you want to solve, you are supposed to write zero minus h. As x tends to zero, h tends to zero. This is original procedure, right? Solving is easy, but you can, you can, uh, you can, uh, you can, you can write like this also. It is correct. Why? Less than zero. Mod x value is what minus x. It's not right. It's correct. That's why we can write like this also. The rule is also you can go with this rule also. It is also correct. But whereas here zero minus h, zero minus h will get like this. Limit h tends to zero. Mod minus h is mod h only. Here minus h will get in the denominator. Okay. Limit h tends to zero minus h h by minus h for all whatever it may be same. So LHL like this. RHL also you can find zero plus mod x by x. Usually you know very well positive x one. So this and this LHL is not equal to RHL. Now the question is why you are using that jump? You see here from here to here it is jumping. That means what is mean by jump? Jump is nothing but 
modulus of LHL minus RHL. Please remember, jump is nothing but modulus. A pen is moving like this, so I could not able to draw one line. Okay, please catch this point. This is modulus. Okay, RHL. LHL minus RHL. What is the jump here? The jump is mod minus 2. He is nothing but 2. What is the jump of the function? Means 2 here. This is called jump discontinuity. What is mean by mixed discontinuity? Yeah, I would like to give one more example here. You see this mixed discontinuity actually in the word itself is there. Means LHL is finite and RHL is infinite, vice versa. Or it may be finite, it may be infinite. Right? Okay, one is infinite, LHL may be infinite, this may be what? Finite. Right? Maybe plus or minus infinity, nothing will happen here. Right? One example I want to take. F of x is equal to, simple example, people can understand this one easily. If it extends to x is what? Greater than or equal to 0. 1 by x I have taken, x is less than 0. And I want to explain this one with the help of our diagram. It is very easy for me. That's why I would like to go with this one. So at zero, what happened? It is two nana. It will go like this. Right. Whereas in the case of this, right, it will go like this in, up to infinity. Very simple, very, very simple here. You can cash like this. Right, origin, infinite. You see here, clearly, we'll get here. Limit extends to zero plus f of x is nothing but, you can say that limit extends to zero, x plus two, you'll get what two nana. Whereas here, limit extends to zero, minus if I take one by x, that is nothing but, Right, that is nothing but you can take here okay, you can take here that is nothing but you can take here uh, yeah, 0 minus h if you take here, you will get here minus infinity. So here, one is infinity, the other one is right one is infinity the other one is what finite so that's the reason i can say that this one is mixed discontinuity now i would like to move to the second one second kind i'm using the word here second kind nothing to worry very simple simple example i'll take the, here the meaning is very clear lhl you take down left hand limit or rhl both are what infinities one is minus infinity one is plus infinity maybe vice versa is also possible but in both the cases both are what infinity but does not exist simply i can say that what is a formula problem here you see here one example i have taken x not equal to zero zero x is equal to zero suppose if i take like this diagrammatically i will explain them or otherwise but extends to zero minus f of x if i said here limit extends to zero minus one by x what happened here limit extends to zero 1 by x is nothing but, as you know very well, 0 minus h. As h tends to 0, 1 by 0 minus h minus infinity. Yeah, you are getting minus infinity. Limit x tends to 0 plus if you take here f of x, but h tends to 0. Why? Because x is equal to 0 plus h. Right, 1 by 0 plus h. You are getting plus infinity. Diagrammatically, I can say like this now. One is going in this way. The other one is going in this way. Origin. Right. One is positive infinity. The other one is negative infinity. Please catch this particular point. Okay. Second kind. Oscillating discontinuity is also what one of the easiest to one. Yeah, you can catch easily. You can catch easily. What is that? Suppose oscillating discontinuity I'm discussing now. Oscillatory, oscillating, oscillatory discontinuity. Okay, oscillating discontinuity. What is that? 
Suppose if I said that f of x is equal to sine 1 by x, x is not equal to 0. What is going to happen? Here, if you reach, you remember one thing here, you have learned that these are what? Bounded functions. The moment you are reaching origin, it will vibrate vigorously. We can't identify its position. Here we cannot find this position. What happened here? See, limit extends to 0 minus, if I said, sine 1 by x. What is the answer? Sine minus infinity you are getting. Minus infinity means minus something k. What is k? k belongs to minus 1 to 1. We can't identify the position of k in between minus 1 and 1. Bounded it is. So next one, limit extends to 0 plus if you take sine 1 by x. If you take in this, you will get what? Sine infinity. I'm taking 0 minus h here. That's why minus infinity. Here infinity. That directly k will get. What is the k value? Same k. LHL and RHL. We cannot identify its position. Simply, these two are plus or minus differences there. That's why these two are not equal. No, not like that. I'm not saying. Of course, that is there. But what is k? We don't know. Exact position of k, we don't know. That's the reason we are saying that this one is discontinuous. Right? This one is discontinuous and we are saying that we are unable to identify its location. But what is scheme? Nothing. I don't have any answer. I can say that any number between minus 1 and 1. People may not agree with me if I said any number between minus 1 and 1. I can't say that exact one. That's the reason. It is like this. So we discussed thoroughly discontinuity guys. Now one more point is there. What is that? Clearly differentiability is also there. Okay, these are together people are going to ask the questions. Okay, in mains and advanced, especially the questions are based on continuity as well as differentiability. So, we'll discuss continuity first thoroughly. Here, let us start with this one. What is the question? Here, some questions I'm taking. Okay, to boost your confidence level, I would like to take some questions. What are the questions here? See this now. The question is, for example, here, there are different types of questions. Especially in, in a competitive exam, these people are going to ask this type of questions. For example, you take the first one. You are finding the values. Right? They'll give like this. f of x is equal to it will define the function like this. Let f of x is e to the power of x minus 1 whole to the power of 2n. Okay. Divided by sine n x by a. Sine to the power of n x by a and log 1 plus x by a whole to the power of n. And when, when x is not equal to 0. And he said that 16 to the power of n when x is equal to 0. And he has given like this. And f is what is a continuous at x is equal to 0. He has given continuous x equal to 0. Okay. Then the value. Then the value of E, he's asking the value of E. Okay, of course, here he has, some, he has given some numbers, 16, 2, 8, and 4, he has given options. The question is, here he is cross-checking your limit formulas. Do you know that or not? In continuity, by giving this question. So, what is the continuous definition? Limit extends to 0, f of 0. So here, limit extends to zero the moment you are writing. You please remember, I want to change, make some changes. Whole to the power of 2n is there, no? That means here, I have to multiply it with x to the power of 2n by, I multiplied here, I have to divide with the same one. I multiplied here, I have to divide with the same one. I did it. Now, whereas in the case of this one, x by a, 
no need to worry here also i am multiplying x by a the moment i am writing here whole to the power of n that means x to the power of n by a to the power of n also i have to write why already i did it here so multiplying dividing value will not change and in the case of this one 1 plus x by a yes here whole to the power of x by a suppose if i write suppose if i write then i am supposed to write okay this is in the case of this one so x by a whole to the power of n also i have to write it whole to the power of n. see x to the power of n x to the power of n this gone and the moment the moment if i cancel like this according to the standard limits this is what 1 to the power of 2n this is also what 1 divided by 1 to the power of n but the left out one is 1 by a to the power of n here also what 1 by a to the power of n is left out what about this one log e you, you will get whole to the power of n which is nothing but a to the power of 2n according to this definition yeah you what you can write a to the power of 2n is equal to what is the functional value 16 to the power of n that means a square is equal to 16 the value of a is equal to what 4 like this we can evaluate right another side another this is what knowing the formulas several formulas in one question means this uh, this example i have taken here now i want to go with another one because you want to cross check whether you know lhl and rhl are thoroughly or not by giving this type of question the function okay f of x is equal to a into step x plus 1 plus b into step x minus 1 as i said it to you that a not equal to 0 P not equal to zero. This is J of greatest integer function, step function. Okay, and he has given that e is continuous. E is continuous at x equal to one. If he has given like this, if that means one condition is given like this, the other one is this, another one is a plus b is equal to zero, the other one is a plus two b is equal to zero. Here he has given like this. Identify the suitable condition. Here, identify the here cross-checking the number. I mean formulas. You see this one. What is the continuous? As I said it to you that, but extends to at a particular point you want to cross-check. Yeah, you have to be careful. At x is equal to one, he said. So one minus f of x, and here limit extends to one plus f of x, as well as f of one. Then only you can say that it is. Continuous. Now you please cross check at this particular point what I am taking. One minus h I am taking. As x tends to one, h tends to what? Na zero. So now limit h tends to zero. Just I would like to substitute here this value. What is that? One minus h plus one. Right. And b one minus h minus one. Yeah. Just I substituted these values. But x tends to zero. A into What happened? Two minus h here, and b into minus h. We are getting here minus h. We are getting over here. Now you 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 know very well that rule of rule of uh, step function. According to the rule of step function, what we can say two minus h. I am not applying limit. I am not applying limit. Just I want to evaluate this. The value of this one is one. What about this, Nana? This become what minus one? Any h is left over? Nothing. So that means a minus b is your LHL. You got it. Now come down to the next one. What is that limit? One plus h. I am taking RHL. Okay. Limit h tends to zero. A into one plus h. Yeah. You see this one. The question is one plus h plus one. Right. Plus one and b into one plus h minus one is there. Need not worry. We have what like this. So I am not evaluating limit. Just I want to first of all I have to evaluate step function. What is that? Two plus h is there, and b. Whereas here 
only h is there h is what infinitesimal value smallest value so 2 point something 0 1 2.01 means 2 only a into 2 whereas here limit extends to 0 a limit is there right this is how i'm evaluating whereas in the case of this one what happened here zero any h is there no so the answer is 2 b or two. because he said that continuous lhl is equal to what nana rhl so 2a is equal to sorry here we got it a plus b we got it i think the last one is what lhl lhl value is a minus b we got it right a minus b we got it and whereas here 2b we got it right so that a is equal to we are getting here 3b a is equal to 3b we are getting in the case of this but you just check it out once again let us check this one minus one here this is one a minus b we are getting no doubt whereas in the case of this one here just to see this nana the first one is what a plus one second one is x minus one okay here x minus one is there for turning the page i made it yeah x means one plus h minus one h this is zero mm, this is what two plus h means two a sorry guys this become what two a so this is what two a so what you got it here your condition become what this nana right a plus b is equal to zero you got it finally right a plus b is equal to zero third option is correct now the question is there may be a chance to ask this type of questions also third one what is that f of x is equal to see this now sine step x by step x i'll take one more example based on this step x is not equal to zero and the next zero step x is equal to zero he's asking is dash he said that continuous at x is equal to zero discontinuous at x is equal to zero and he's asking here lhl is zero and here it is what rhl is zero right lhl is zero rhl is zero is also yes given now the question is how we are going to solve very simple take straight away limit extends to zero minus you take down you will get here sine minus h step x by step x what happened here zero minus h as s tends to zero s tends to zero nana so limit h tends to zero sine be careful here zero minus h by zero minus h right what is going to be happen i am not applying the limit i have tried uh, first of all we are supposed to avoid step function how you know very well step of minus 0 point something is there means you will get minus 1 the value is minus 1 so finally what you are getting here 1 right now come to the next one limit extends to 0 plus i am taking now this is step x yes sir so x is equal to 0 plus h as x tends to 0 h tends to 0 guys limit h tends to 0 what is this sine 0 plus h by 0 plus h we are getting as you know very well clearly you know very well that what e is the value of this one here sir this is 0 sir sine 0 is 0 right sine 0 is 0 0 plus right first this becomes 0 0 by something is i mean it is what you are getting 0 that means these two are not equal so you can say that discontinuous at x is equal to 0 you can say no no okay 0 you can say now i would like to take one more example yeah, this is one of the example I, I would like to take. Now, another example, you see this, Nana. Sometimes they may ask you that special type of functions like this. Okay. The question number here is fourth one. 
what is that they may give like this if f of x be a continuous okay continuous function continuous function for all real for all real x belongs to r and satisfy and satisfy here he has given one condition x square plus x f of x minus 2 here he kept it in bracket 2 root 3 minus 3 minus root 3 f of x is equal to 0 again he said if x belongs to r then the value of is asking here then the value of f of root 3 is dash he said you please remember of course here he has given some values that is those are the values are there okay those are the values are there of course okay he 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 is asking here root 3 what we are supposed to do here let us see this nana ha sir x square x f of x minus 2x plus 2 root 3 minus 3 root 3 f of x is equal to 0 that means if i take f of x here i have to write x square Minus two x plus two root three minus three whole divided by root three minus x. Yes, sir. Like this, I got it. So root three minus x, I got it here. Now the question is, is continuous? He said. He said here, is continuous. And f of root three. What is the meaning of that? Means f of root three is equal to limit x tends to root three f of x. What is going on here? It is continuous, na. So the functional value he has given. He is asking that what is the functional value when it when it goes to root three from left side and right side? Like this we can write. Like this we can write. So here limit. Extends to root three. You see this, Nana. It's very, very important. What we are going to get over here that is more important for us. Limit. How we are going to simplify this? Yeah, it is very clear that the moment you are going to write here two x plus two root three minus three divided by root three minus x. Rather than going for any other condition, because it's a limit problem, zero by zero form is there, so I can go for a L'Hospital rule. By using a L'Hospital rule, I have to differentiate, right? Two x minus two divided by here. This is zero minus one. What happens, sir? Yeah, two root three minus two by minus one. Or else, you can get two one minus root three. Two into one minus root three. You got it. Now come to the next one. Fifth one, I would like to do. See this one. One more example here. Beautiful examples are there in the examination. He asked this question, Nana. In continuity relatedly, he asked this question. If f of x is equal to minimum of x and x square. Okay, for all x belongs to R, he said. And he is not asking anything. Then f of x is dash. he said that discontinuous at x is equal to 0 discontinuous i am writing like this at x is equal to 1 okay continuous on r okay continuous at x is equal to 0 and 1 yeah he has given four options for this question What to do? First of all, you should know that 
graphically also i would like to tell method one you see that graphically how i am going to write i would like to draw the graph here this is x square it will be like this the moment i said minimum yeah once let me draw perfect diagram so i think you people can easily accept this uh now it is okay right this is zero x axis now you see this one minimum means this is the function okay this is the function so we are going to get finally what i mean to say finally the function is the diagram i mean to say that the given form diagram is in this way and now okay in this way what is that it will be like this yes i'll try it will be in this form this is do you find any breaks here zero one why because x square is equal to x if i take x is equal to zero x is equal to one is a equation when these two are equal me this is the two intersecting point is it continuous or not yes continuous so i can say that is continuous at x is equal to a continuous on r and you can say this one is also correct continuous at x is equal to zero and as well as one of course but okay I, i i can say that it is continuous these two are correct continuous on r it is throughout the continuous not only one and two continuous in r is absolutely right this one comes under here so that perfect answer is continuous on r okay where you are going to cross check the answer you have the hurdle set 0 and 1 so at x is equal to 0 what is going to be happen how we are going to draw the function how we are going to write the function okay mathematically if you want to write this okay what are the steps here what are the steps we are supposed to write means it is very clear so you write f of x at x is equal to 0 is there na okay at x is equal to 0 x is less than 0 for example if you take less than 0 means x we are getting x square 0 less than equal to x less than 1 it is x x is greater than 1 it will be like this at x is equal to 0 0 but x is equal to 1 1 it is continuous right it looks very clear so this is this is this type of questions are also they are going to ask okay right this is one more question another one i would like to take one more example here so that you people come to know what is that question here limit let sorry let f of x is equal to 2x square minus 6 okay when j of greatest integer function na okay the number of they may ask this type of questions number of points in 1 comma 2 where f is discontinuous discontinuous he is asking like this so in he said that means we are not using the definition of continuity what is that when he said that when x lies between 1 and 2 the structure we want we want that structure sorry this is not square it is cube now so what is going to be happen here so it is 1 to 2 nana 
cubing on both side one is less than x cube less than eight multiply with two two less than two x cube less than what sixteen here and the next six two minus six less than two x cube minus six less than sixteen minus six now you see here minus four less than two x cube minus six is less than ten guys two x this step function this is what gif step function is discontinuous at integer what are the integers minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 these are 10 and these are 3 so that what 13 points where this function is discontinuous okay i discussed continuity thoroughly till here right Right, all different different examples I have taken over here. But one thing is very clear: you people have to learn so many diagrams now because it acts as a major role. Diagram related to different different functions. If you know thoroughly, I think it is very good. Please try your level best to get okay. Learn the uh, diagrams. Diagrammatically, you should be clear. I have taken several examples. Right. In the next class, I would like to discuss discontinuity. I'll stop here, Nana. Okay, guys, I'll stop here. Bye.